What up everybody, this is Dario Hunt from Living Life Fearless and I'm back with my reaction to Northern Lights by Zed's Dead. I'll admit, I have like pretty much no previous knowledge of who Zed's Dead are. When it comes to like electronic slash kind of dance music, it's more of a matter of something catching my attention than me actively going out and looking for it. There's just too much out there for me and a lot of times stuff just gets overlooked. It wasn't until I heard Too Young featuring Pusha T who is one of my favorite rappers that I decided to give them a listen. It's hard to put a label on Northern Lights. It's an album that's like all over the place in terms of its sound, hopping from one genre influence to the next. Almost like it's an exercise in producing because there's elements of hip hop, dance, pop, drum and bass, dubstep, and more. And all in just a span of 15 songs. It's actually pretty impressive stuff and it says a lot about them as producers. For an album, however, it can be a jarring listen. Songs can vary drastically from one to the next and they sacrifice cohesiveness for diversity. And I think as a whole, the album suffered because of it. Northern Lights got off to an extremely strong start with songs like Stardust, which has these slick guitar riffs, Too Young, which has an incredible bounce to it, and Me No Care, which is just hard hitting drum and bass. But after about halfway through, it starts to lose its momentum considerably. The features on Northern Lights are just as diverse as production itself. It ranges from artists like Twin Shadows, Atlas, and Dragonette to hip hop artists like Pusha T, Jadakiss, and Styles P. Jadakiss and Styles P being the most surprising features at all. Um, I don't think I've ever heard them before on electronic music. And they appropriately lace the most menacing track off the album. All the features did a fair enough job and breathe life into each of their features and songs. But I think as a whole, Twin Shadows probably had the best two features off the whole album. It was a really wide ranging album full of all types of different sounds and has a lot there for just about any listener. But for an album, I think it's lack of cohesiveness really started to work against it. And about halfway through, like I said, it started to lose its momentum. Have you guys heard Northern Lights? what do you think about it? Do you think it sounds were just too varied? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to head over and live my life fearless and leave your rating for the album.